It was a murder that stunned New York and particularly the Asian American community. The murder of 35 year old Christina Yuna Lee. She was stabbed dozens of times in her apartment back in 2022. Today, her killer learned his fate and her family was there to watch. Eyewitness News reporter Safan Kim was there for us. Everyone hit the like button, man. Everyone smashed the like button. We're going for 300 likes. I remember this story, I covered this story. Very sad story, man. Um, it's very hard to prevent, but it seemed like it could have been prevented easily. I hope they show it. Where did she go? She sobs in Korean. Where did our baby go? <laughs> this has been Christina Yuna Lee's family's life tormented by pain and anguish. I missed her very much. I missed her. I'm waiting for her whenever she comes, whenever I go to see you. Lee's aunt outside court after Asamad Nash was sentenced to 30 years to life in prison for the gruesome murder. He had already pleaded guilty. It was in 2022 when Nash followed Lee from her Uber, followed her up six flights of stairs, then forced his way into her apartment. He tried to yeah, he was like walking behind her like this close the entire way. And people will say, well, if you got some sun man walking behind you like that, why would you walk to your apartment? Or why wouldn't you like say something or whatever? This is a woman, man, and very educated woman. And she's probably been told, been to turn those spidey senses off. It's racist. This son man could have been going to his apartment. This son man has a right to be in this building without your, your yellow gaze, man. So people turn the natural senses off. I'm sure her her life forces were bing, 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 bing. Because in, in situations like this, your body's like, oh, sh danger, 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 danger. And you're like, you're, 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 you're tripping all the systems. You're, you're shutting, down all, shutting off all the alarms. You're pressing snooze on all the alarms that are going off. And then you get to your apartment and he forces his way in. As soon as you open your apartment door, he forces his way in and kills you. He followed this woman up six flights of stairs. That close behind her, and she never, never batted an eye about it. Never batted an eye about it. She acted like, hey, you know, she it, it, it seemed like she was just on some, like, hey, I mean, you know, I mean. That's my uh, racist. Uh, this is my unconscious bias. This is this is my unconscious bias working. It's my unconscious bias. There's nothing wrong. Nothing happening here. Nothing. Nothing wrong. Just my unconscious bias. He he, he could live in this apartment too. I mean, he could. He, he has every right to be here as I do. I, I did, and it's like nah, mother. It's your body is telling you like, yo, be afraid for a reason. Yeah, man, be scared, man, because this one right here, man. People believe in spirituality, and we, we believe in all this spooky stuff, um, cells and pheromones and all this stuff and epigenetics. We believe in all these different things, but we don't believe in fear. Press one. Shout out to Bipocalypse now, man. Good trouble. He says, sons are the only people that cause other groups to literally not want to leave the house. Or they alter how people schedule their day. That's to avoid sons in public places. That's not normal. I, no, it's not. And then those same people have to you know, see sons complaining about 
some random son that got shot during one of the a gazillion police interactions with the son community that day. They got to see it all on the main street news. They got to see everybody pandering the sons all the time. Anytime a son gets a raw deal or everything doesn't go their way or they have an interaction that, you know, ticks them off. Every son's got to be coddled and cajoled and pampered. And you can't go out of how out the out the house after eight because sons is out here robbing everybody. This at least 30 years to life in prison for the gruesome murder. He had already pleaded guilty. It was in 2022 when Nash followed Lee from her Uber, followed her up six flights of stairs, then forced his way into her apartment. He tried to sexually assault her. She fought back. So he grabbed a knife from the kitchen and stabbed her at least 40 times. Lee's father, in his impact statement, asked, why did God do such terrible things to our family? Outside the courthouse, he blamed bail reform laws for failing his daughter and the NYPD. The police did not gain entrance to the scene of the crime. Until oh, he blamed the police? What about blaming that son, man, who did the shit? How does he blame the police? He's I gotta try to understand this guy. Man. And 20 minutes. Why they always sound like that, man? No matter how long they've been here, man. <laughs> it's, he, you, he could he could been here 70 years. He still won't sound like this, man. It's the darndest thing, man. You blaming the police, man? Claimed bail reform laws for failing his daughter and the NYPD. The police did not gain entrance to the scene of the crime until one hour and 20 minutes had passed since arriving at the scene. Our beloved city was undergoing a massive spike in anti Asian hate and violence. We were afraid. We were deeply afraid. And many of us had stopped going out stopped going out at night. Many of us had stopped going on subways. And because of that, because of that, even though this case was not prosecuted as a hate crime, right, that connection in time, all of that struck, shocked us, struck a raw nerve, unnerved us all over once again. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg, meanwhile, sat in the courtroom during sentencing. Since her death, we have seen an outpouring of unwavering support from the AAPI community uh, and indeed uh, the entire borough. That outpouring embodies the strength of Manhattan. Now the Lee family, by the way, has filed a lawsuit against the NYPD. The NYPD declined to comment, citing pending litigation. Lee's father, by the way, in court said that he sometimes writes poems to his daughter when he misses her. He read one today saying in part, the sun is shining outside, but where do I go? Ooh. 